Hello everyone, thanks for staying up late with us tonight. Some Central Georgians still say they can't get answers from the Georgia Department of Labor when it comes to their unemployment claims. One woman tells us it's been more than seven months. Brianna Richardson reached out to state representatives and the Georgia Department of Labor to get some answers. Andrea Fleming reached out to us saying she hasn't received any unemployment since September. She says she was laid off from a daycare in Warner Robins and paying bills and taking care of her two children was difficult. When I did speak to somebody at the time, they were like, give it two days and everything would change and I should start receiving my funds. And then when I called back like a couple of weeks later after I didn't see no payments coming through, it was like, well, it's nothing wrong with your account. Um, your payment should, you just want your payments to be released. Fleming says she just found a new job last month, but she just wants answers from the State Department of Labor. And State Representative Shaw Blackman says people have reached out with unemployment concerns. He says his staff is doing their part to help. We have a number of, of those uh, constituents that have contacted our office and we add them to, to our list that we're following up on on a weekly basis and uh, we're, we're looking for feedback from the Department of Labor. Commissioner of Labor Mark Butler tells me they're not seeing a backlog of claims right now. He says people who are waiting for answers are those who had to file an appeal. Hearing a lot of individuals who call and say they need help with their claim are individuals who, when they filed, they didn't file because they were laid off. Uh, they filed because either they, you know, quit their job or they were terminated for, for cause. Uh, in those type of instances, that process takes longer because there has to uh, be a hearing. In Houston County, Brianna Richardson, 13 WMAZ News. Both state representatives Shaw Blackman and Heath Clark say they're willing to assist the best way they can and can be reached via email.